That's how we grow up. We're not allergic to shit, you know. We can eat peanuts. Are you kidding me? Latino allergic to peanuts? Ching out the cacahuate de la chica. Salted. We do more shit with peanuts than a monkey could. I mean, we got different ways to eat peanuts. And we're not allergic to peanuts. Chile peanuts, roasted peanuts, chile. Different flavor. La tarin y la chingada. Just eating pan. We're not allergic. Now, if somebody has a peanut allergy, the whole world has to change for that one person. When they fly on a plane, no one in the airport can have peanuts <laughs> because of that one person. You're on the airplane, peanut-free flight because of that one person. You're drinking, having a good time. Hey, can we have some peanuts? I'm sorry, there's a passenger <laughs> in coach in the middle seat that has a peanut allergy in 23A. Fuck him. Give me the microphone. <laughs> Orale. Hey, 23A. Go hide in the bathroom because we're going to be eating some peanuts right now. <laughs> all right? And next time, go Greyhound with all the other fucking nuts. <laughs> Why do we have to change? Because somebody has a fucking allergy. They have peanut-free schools. No peanuts in the school. You could take a gun, but don't bring no peanuts. You don't even need a gun. Just walk in with some walnuts. I'll crack these motherfuckers right here. <laughs> Get on the ground. Get on the ground. I'll crack, I'll crack it. And don't try to run, because I threw cashews all over the parking lot. <laughs> huh? Want me to throw some fucking, want me to put some almonds in your shirt? Want me to put some almonds down your shirt? <laughs> Here's what you need to understand about Latinos, if I haven't already explained it. We love this country. We will never hurt this country. We love this country. That new immigration law, the, the RISE Act, you have to already speak English to come over here. You have to already have a job and provide to the economy before you can come here. Fuck, I was, I was looking at that shit, I'm like, fuck, I'm only one of three, god damn. <laughs> They're trying to keep us out of this country, but they can't. This country was made by immigrants and continue to be made by immigrants, and all of it makes it great. That's what makes America great. Not some fucking fat, wobbly hair, fucking puto, not that. <laughs> Donald Trump, let me tell you something. Not the whoa. And let me tell you, huh? He wants to crack down on immigration. He don't like immigrants? Well, then stop marrying them. Stop marrying them, what the? Huh? She doesn't speak English. Does it bother anybody that the first lady of the United States doesn't speak English? And it hurts to watch her try. And then my husband, daddy, he'll get it, he'll not. Pobrecita, she can't talk. She's trying. Está bonita, but she cannot talk. How come somebody don't talk for her? But <laughs> Even Arnold Schwarzenegger's at home. Get it out! <laughs> Spit it out! Do it! You know how hard it is to learn English? Arnold Schwarzenegger's been in this country 50 years, and he don't fucking speak English. He tries to talk slow, like you all know, and then we got the that. that you see that commercial for that app, Mobile Strike? Download it now on the App Store. <laughs> what did he say? App Store? Because I saw the App Store. <laughs> Download it in the App Store. So, life is an education, and if you're older, you're smarter. I just believe that. If you're in an argument with somebody and they're older than you, you should listen to them. It doesn't mean they're right. It means that even if they're wrong, their wrongness is rooted in more information than you have. <laughs> They've been here longer. If you're older, you're smarter. How many people here by applause are 45 or older? 45 or older, applaud. Okay. That's about 60 people out of 2,400. Here's the interesting thing. There's way more. I can see you. 
There's something more. There's some, this is Arizona. There are way more people in that demographic, but they didn't clap. Why? Because they're smart. They're sitting in the dark going, I don't have to clap. I don't have to do anything. They're not doing it. And they're right. You know why? Because never identify yourself. Never. Are you crazy? You don't know why I'm asking. What do you, how do you know what? Okay, burn them all. Burn everybody over 45. How do you know I'm not going to do that? How many people here by applause are 40 or younger? 40 or younger, applaud. That's every time. Every time. That is a weird thing to celebrate in a room where you're not the only people here. That is, that's like going to cancer ward. Not me! Woo! I don't have it! I don't have it! If you're older, you're smarter. A 55-year-old garbage man is a million times smarter than a 28-year-old with three PhDs. Especially smarter than him. Because this idiot has been thinking about three things for like 15 years. He's worthless. The garbage man is 55. He's had some experience. Things have happened to him. He went to Cape Cod one summer. He saw a dead guy floating in the motel pool. He took a bus to Montreal. He got a hand job at a fair <laughs> from a miner. I mean a miner. Not a miner, a miner. You understand? A miner. A grown man who works in a mine. With dirty hands jacked him off at a county fair. That's what I was saying happened to the 55 year old. You see, he's had some experience. He knows more. More has happened to him. He's seen more. He's seen history. He's witnessed history. Even if it's not ancient history. He saw Nixon resign on live television. Me and those few people that clapped, we saw the president of America cry and then quit being the president. That shit was crazy. Because none of us knew what was going to happen next. Today, people like the president's kind of disappointing. Really? Our president wept like an insane person and then got in a helicopter and flew away. And the whole nation just watched him go.